Today we've arrived at an amazing skate park, Vandergriff, and we have brought the wrong skateboard. This, it's a trampoline board slash soft trucks. It's really meant for new skateboarders or anyone who obviously has a trampoline. And I've never ever tested one of these out. So I'm actually extremely excited to see, is this worth it? Staying still, skating, Plus, I wanna get some skateboarding of my own at this park with my normal skateboard, because last time I was here, there was someone kind of watching me creepily the whole time, and it really ruined the session. And now I'm looking at it like, this is a really good park, I missed out. Let's just get straight into it. First, the board itself feels nice, has a lot of concave. It is about the same amount of height off the ground, which obviously they should get that right, since that's probably the most important part. And then, whew, it is obviously impossible to slip out. Ooh, which feels very cool. It's very bouncy. Tried doing Ollie North and failed miserably. Obviously, we can jump into the kickflip. Woo, that's strange. With a normal skateboard, you get a little bit of your wheels kind of wanting to roll backwards. With this, since you don't get the roll, it does want to tend to go in front of you a bit. That was terrible. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm not landing anything first try. You have to land flawlessly, so I guess it helps with that. There we go. I already have so many opinions. Feels a bit fragile. There we go. I'll keep it. We've done the four basic flip tricks. What happens when we actually try to turn like a 180? Oh, it goes. I have a feeling Pop Shove is gonna be awkward. It is awkward, what the hell? Fine. Now let's start doing some like 180 rotation flip tricks. I definitely want to do like a backside flip, a varial flip, tray flip. Clearly people love that. Varial heel. Let's try varial flip first. Whoa. It's just skating a skateboard that's stuck to the ground. The actual pop timing and everything is pretty similar. There you go. A little varial flip for your face. What did I say was next? Varial heel flip. Ooh. The pop feels good too. It feels like it really has a lot of spring to it. Oh, it's so hard to stay still. Keeping it. Backside 180 kickflip, I have a feeling this one's gonna be super awkward. Yep. I feel like I gotta approach it like a half cap flip. My God, that's weird. <laughs> there we go. It's like a half cap flip more than a backside flip. Oh, we still haven't done 360 flip, which I feel like is gonna be very awkward because the whole point of the trick is to scoop it and now we have ultimate resistance in the back truck. So will it actually get the necessary scoop? All right, this is actually my first try, so we'll see. Yep, I knew it was gonna do that. It's slingshotting because there's no, nothing pushing it forward. So I have to jump this way. Literally try to jump like right there to get to where the board is. Dude, not even, I gotta jump further. It's gonna be really hard just to actually land on my, like see how far it's going? Wow, I'm sure people wanted to see me like, maybe try to use it in the park, but it's just not gonna happen. Like I'm at a 90 degree angle and I'm not sliding down this ramp and it feels so sketchy. Or like what happens when I'm next to a ledge and what happens when I try to hop onto it? Obviously it's not gonna grind because there's no metal, but I can do stalls. Well, that's kind of cool. Maybe I can do stuff like that. I say, let's do five more flip tricks first. I'm trying to think of them right now. I want to do a switch tray flip. I know that's going to be a battle and a half. I want to do a double flip. That's two tricks. Front side flip, 360 shove it, front heel. Okay, this is, I mean, I don't know why I just made this so difficult for myself, but let's try all of them. Front heel first. <laughs> ah, the hard part isn't actually doing the trick. It's landing solid enough to where you don't pivot at all. <laughs> See, ah, you know what? Since these are going to be hard, I don't need to land perfect. Let's just keep the sketchy ones. But it's not in my nature. I can't do it. It's good enough. I feel like double flip's gonna be really awkward. Not really. <laughs> keep it. That's two down. That's three down. 360, shove it. Why did I put this on the list? That's gonna be so hard. Oh, no. <laughs> Keep it, why not? Wait, so what was the last one, a switch tray flip? What, why did I put that on the list? That's so hard. What's the first try gonna look like? Who freaking knows? Oh, that's not bad. Whoa, okay. You notice how the switch tray flip is staying more in place than the regular one? What is life? 
The hard part is getting it to flip. Dude, it doesn't flip. It goes primo every time. Should I give a time limit so that I can actually skateboard today? About 20 more tries. Oh, I did it on the first try out of the 20 tries. <sighs> okay, this is, uh, this is my ledge of choice. It's a curb. Well, let's test out. Let's do 10 tricks. Let's start off with the most basic, the 50-50. Ooh, it's hard to roll away, but we did it. I'm counting it because that's, you know. Let's do like a tail stall, which is really easy with momentum. I wonder how hard it is. Oh, that's fairly easy too. Do these trucks smith grind? <laughs> They're so awkward. Yeah, wow, okay. Like a Nolly 5.0, how about that? Oh my God, I missed, but I, I'm glad it doesn't slip out. There we go, Nolly 5.0. Fakey front crook, it's kind of just a 5.0 though. Yeah! Whoa, you're so in it crooked that it's, <laughs> look how I'm trying to do a kickflip right now. Oh my God. The space between this and this is actually much greater than what's in between your wheel and your truck. It's probably about three times the width if you see what I'm trying to say. So when you get to a 50-50, your board is really crooked. Let's do a pop shove at nose grind. I'm counting it because I'm rolling away. What are you gonna do? Should I move these bricks so I don't fall and hit my head on them? That should help. <laughs> there we go. Definitely gotta do a tail slide kickflip, am I right? Oh. See, that part feels normal. Tail slide kickflip, dropped. Oh my God. Okay, so fakie front crook, fakie flip is possible. Keeping it. Oh my God. I'm happy with that, but we should probably do three more tricks because I don't know what number I'm on and I think we're at seven. I don't know. Is kickflip no stall too complicated? Probably. Oh yeah, we got that. <laughs> I'll take it. This is kind of stupid, but should I just randomly try a switch heel front 50? Oh, or that. Should we do a switch heel Smith? <laughs> Maybe we can finish this off with just a, maybe a switch flip back 50. Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, uh, you know what? Both times I got into a switch flip crook. Is that asking for too much if I just like kind of commit to that? Okay, not a great result. It doesn't slip out. I don't know what I'm afraid of. It literally cannot like slide anywhere. Dude, have we found the board? to help teach us how to aim better. Cause usually if that would have happened, I would have got on the top, my board would have shot that way and I would have fallen to the side. No! I cannot believe I got into it so good and then I flunked up the landing. I've actually never done that on a real skateboard either. So this is good practice. No! What? I don't know. Let's watch it. It could definitely be better. Damn it. There we go. So what do I think of this skateboard right here? Uh, I think that it made me try tricks I don't usually do, like a switch flip crooked grind. I've never even tried that. And then randomly I was like, oh wait, I can't slip out. So I actually feel like it might be good even for people like professional skateboarders, always feels weird saying that, but even professional skateboarders like myself to try to learn new tricks and experiment with new things. But obviously for beginners, it's I, I think something like this could be really beneficial. The actual width and timing of the pop is the same as a normal skateboard. They did a really good job at keeping the space. This isn't sponsored by the way, it's just these, these are everywhere now, like these are all over the internet and a lot of kids are actually using them to learn tricks, etc. And I think they're pretty damn cool. I like how the boards feel and I actually feel like if I was stuck in on a rainy day and I had an area of the house or somewhere to play with something like this, I, feel, I think it'd be a really, really fun, cool tool. And I'm actually going to Colorado in about two weeks and I'm gonna take this with me because it's gonna be snowing the whole time. I'm pretty sure they have a garage somewhere. I got this board. I'm vlogging over here because I don't want to disturb the people in the park because there's actually a couple beginners and there's people kind of testing out the thing. And I love to see it. I love to see new skateboards come to parks and be like trying to figure out how to ride, et cetera. So I'm going to try to stay a little out of the way, but I am going to get like a, a, a skateboard session, you know, with wheels and everything like that. So let's get in there and actually, uh, let's do this. <laughs>
So my friend Kevin actually just sent me a pin to a spot and we're stopping by just to say hello real quick because I have a hectic day. Ew. Dude, that's crazy. This spot's sick. Oh, Lord. Kevin, it was nice seeing you for two seconds, but... It's been a long time, dude. It's been a while. <laughs> Here, get it. You got it. That's a hard one. There we go. This is a lead trick I've never done either. Switch flip no slide. It's very difficult. Exactly what happened last time. Damn. Just like shoot out. Got into it. How's your ass? No way. You know what? It was good seeing you again for like two seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I definitely, a yeah, a quick little sesh. Apparently you can skate this spot on weekdays, so I am absolutely coming back ASAP. Uh, the reason it, well, I, I don't wanna give it away yet, but I am gonna be pretty busy for the next couple of days. I'm gonna try to skate and film, of course, but I have a pretty big life announcement and I feel like I haven't done really like a life update video in a while. And, uh, a lot of stuff is happening and I haven't really wanted to talk about it because I've just wanted to show skateboarding. So I think in the next video, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday I upload. So in the next video, I'm probably gonna do like a life update video and talk about what I'm doing, why my car's packed, why, uh, yeah, things are hectic right now. And I definitely want to like get into that a bit more and share a little bit. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that and subscribe and all that stuff if you wanna be notified right away. Uh, I'll try to probably do skateboarding in every single video, but yeah, it might just be one update video in the mix of all these videos, but I'm having a great time. I had an amazing time today, actually. And I wanna learn switch flip crooks now. I wanna come back to this spot and skate it because it is beautiful. So luckily with all this stuff, everything is just like a compounding effect. Like I see something new. I'm like, that leads me to five other videos I wanna film. This leads me to, you know, like I just, I have so much of like life I just wanna do right now. And I'm really excited about just like, yeah, living and skating and, and, and like working. I'm finally like doing YouTube, like it's a nine to five. I get up in the morning, I go skate, I edit, boom, that's my work day. And it's been super fun, actually, which is weird. I, who knew organization was actually kind of important for some people? Anyways, that's it. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.